Hey YouTube, it's Robert back with another video and in today's video we're going to change out a ceiling fan. And changing out a ceiling fan from an older fan to a newer one can be a great and inexpensive way for us to not only improve the air circulation in the room, maybe improve the lighting, but also just to change the look of the room, update it, make you know, an older fan where, you know, in this case, we've got kind of this ugly brass uh, and change it to something that's maybe a little bit more modern. And it can be a do-it-yourself project if we're basically changing from one fan to another. Now, there are instances where we would be better off to get a licensed electrician involved. That may be in a situation where we're going from just a light in the ceiling to an actual fan because our outlet box and wiring may not be set up to actually handle the fan components. But if we're just going from one ceiling fan to another, um, a lot of times the wiring is relatively standardized. And if we're basically, we open this up and we see that it's pretty much ready to go and all we have to do is follow the pretty simple instructions in the new ceiling fan box, then it really may not be something that you need to get a licensed electrician involved and you don't need that many tools to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this thing, see what we've got, and then I'll take you through the process of just changing one out to another. And I'm doing this during the day, so I've got plenty of natural light coming in. And for that reason, before I even uh, open this thing up, I'm gonna go ahead and go out to the breaker box, flip the breaker switch off to cut power to this room, then I'll come back in, double check, make sure I'm not getting any lights or fan turning on. If you wanna be extra careful at home, you can use a voltage tester to make sure that you're not getting any power coming from those wires. You can even do that into an outlet in the room. Uh, but for our purposes, I'm just gonna go out, flip that off, and we'll come back in here and we'll actually take the ceiling fan down. All right, and I have now turned the breaker off. I've checked my switches, not getting any power here, not getting any power in my outlets. Um, and so when I come up to my ceiling fan, there's gonna be at the base on this particular one, I've got this little plate that just kind of fell off and it reveals where the actual screws are mounting the ceiling fan to the ceiling. So I'm gonna start with my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just gonna unscrew all of those so that I can pull it down from the ceiling. Now I started by removing the screws that are in the fixed holes. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen the two screws that are in the slotted holes, and then that's gonna allow me to turn the base just enough to drop the fan from the ceiling. And here's where I'm talking about the slotted holes. So once that screw gets loosened a little bit, it'll allow me to turn that just enough that I can drop it. All right, so now I've loosened those. I'm gonna take from the base, and I'm gonna actually slide that out and drop the fan down. See, as soon as I've dropped that out, basically I've removed it from the mount and the only thing holding this fan up at this point is me. So this might be where you wanna have somebody else that can hold it. So in my case, I'm actually, I got the fan here. I'm going to untwist my caps that are holding my wires in place. And as I'm holding my fan, I'm removing all of these components Again, if you don't want to have to hold the fan while you do this, you're either going to need another person or you're going to need some way to support it. But I've now removed my old fan from the ceiling entirely and I've got my wires all set up there for me to place my new fan. Now these screws actually come from underneath and go up into our wire box. So we're loosening those so that we can then pull this down. And we're gonna to wanna to keep these screws because a lot of times your other ceiling fan is not going to have these. Uh, they come with the wire box. So as we release that, you can see it's now coming down and we are going to keep both of these screws that I just pulled. All right, and the fan that we're going to be installing today is this Harbor Breeze Gray Space Series from Lowe's. It's a 52 inch fan, so that's plenty of fan for the size of the room that we're putting it in. Uh, but there are guides right on there as to, you know, what type of size you want based off the square footage of your room. And then there's also some different options for us on the uh, mounting options so that if we have higher ceilings, we have extensions to bring the fan down more into the room. But in my case, I have eight uh, foot ceilings, so I'm just gonna be using the flush or close mount option on this install. 
All right, and as we've opened the box, we're gonna have our instructions. We're gonna set those aside. We're gonna get our blades out. We won't need those right away. And we're gonna just start pulling the parts uh, that we need out of here. I am not going to need a extender on this one because we're going to be doing a uh, flush mount install. But again, reading through the directions for your particular case, you'll have to figure out which parts you need. Um, I am gonna be needing our uh, cover for the top. And then we're gonna have our lights, which we'll be installing uh, after we've mounted it. We're gonna have our arms that we'll be installing the ceiling fan blades onto. We've got our poles for operating the light in the fan when we get to that point, along with some other little parts and pieces. And then we get to the bulk of it. We've got our light covers and then we have our actual ceiling fan motor here. So this is gonna be the part we're gonna be messing with first. And so having removed the old mounting bracket, uh, the first thing we're gonna need to do is install the new mounting bracket that came with the ceiling fan. Now, as I mentioned, the screws that actually put the mounting bracket in are one of the only things that do not come with the uh, mounting bracket because those screws actually came with the box that was installed uh, for the ceiling fan before. So we wanted to keep those when we removed the other for that reason. But we're gonna go ahead and place our new mounting bracket on here and screw that in. I always like to put the screws in a little bit loose at first until I have both of them in place so that if there's anything that was needing to be adjusted, I have an easier time with it. And I don't have to worry about holding the bracket quite as delicately when I start screwing these in. All right, so now we've got our new mounting bracket on. It's nice and tight and solid. We're gonna have our Wires all set up, ready to go, so that we can hang our fan motor on here and start getting things connected. All right, so looking at our fan base here, we've got um, quite a bit of extra wire and I am gonna cut some of that off. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that I leave enough so that if I ever did decide to drop it down from the ceiling a little bit, I have enough wire to do so, even though I'm pretty sure this is gonna stay a flush mount. All right, and so I'm gonna take my wire cutter and I'm gonna remove a lot of this excess wire. I don't wanna remove too much. I wanna make sure I still have some uh, wiggle room when I go to connect everything. But I'm gonna go ahead and just clip that all the way through. And then I wanna remove the ends so that I have some of the actual wire exposed. So I'm gonna cut through the casing here uh, by just pinching a little bit on the outside enough that I can break through that without cutting all the way through the wire and I end up with exposed ends. All right and now you can see I've got my wires shortened and I've removed a little bit from the ends so I've got some of the actual wire exposed. So now we're ready to go ahead and pull her on up get this part of it mounted I'll get our wires connected. Okay, and now I've got my fan with the canopy connected to it and our wires uh, are running through. So I'm ready to basically do my final installation here of this portion where I'm going to go ahead and hang my fan on the nice little hook that I have here for it so that I have both my hands free to connect our wires. Uh, and that's gonna be the fun part. We're basically gonna be connecting uh, like colors. So our black wire is gonna be the hot wire for the fan. So we're gonna connect black to black, that being the black from the fan and the black coming out of our ceiling. And then uh, blue and the red is gonna be the hot wires for the light. Um, so those two will connect. Then we have our white wire, which is our neutral, and our green wire is our ground. So we need to make sure that the green wire is connected to the um, copper that's coming out of the ceiling. Sometimes that might be covered in green as well. In this case, I just have a copper wire coming there. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get those all connected. We're gonna have our wire caps uh, screwed onto them, and then we're gonna cover that with our electric tape. Then like I said, for the fun part, we're gonna connect our wires. So we've got our wire caps. We're gonna put our green and our copper ground 
together, get those tight. Then we have our neutral wire is our white. Uh, so we go again, white to white. Put our wire cap on there as well. And get that nice and tight. Our black, again, is our hot wire for the fan. And this is because I have a switch that operates the fan and the light independently. The instructions for this particular fan do give you options depending on whether you have one switch, two, uh, if you're just operating them with strictly the pole cables attached to the fan. Uh, and so then we have our red and our blue wire is going to be the hot wire for the actual light. So I got my caps on all of those. And the next thing we're gonna do is cover all of these with electrical tape around the ends, completely encapsulating the wires where they meet. So there you can see we've got the electrical tape over the wires and now we can take and connect the canopy up to our mounting bracket. So our, feel, our fan is now mounted. Now we have the part that our lights connect to. Um, so we see a bunch of wires here, but we don't have to worry about doing anything with those other than connecting these open ends with the two here. And again, we're just gonna go white to white and then blue to black to connect those. And once we have those connected, everything's just gonna fit up into this housing up here. And we'll be screwing this back into that casing. All right, so at this point, we've done all the hardest work here. We've got our new fan mounted up to the ceiling, and the only things we have left is to go ahead and get our bulbs and light covers on, and then get our ceiling fan blades uh, installed at the top here. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn the breaker back on and test it all out. Okay, now we're ready for the moment of truth. I've connected my poles, my lights, and my fan blades, and so I'm gonna go back outside. I'm gonna turn the breaker on. We're gonna test it all out, make sure we're not setting the house on fire and that everything's working properly. Okay, and we're gonna test it out with our wall switches. We've got two, so our first one's gonna operate our light. We check that and it works. Come over, check my cable, and it operates from my pole also. Then we're gonna check on our fan, hit our wall switch, and it's moving. Now, right up at the light switch here, we have a little um, switch that actually operates which direction the fan blades go. So if it goes in one direction, it's blowing the air up and out. The other direction is blowing it down. So I've checked to make sure that it's blowing down. Now I'm gonna check from my poles here that I actually have my speed settings working. So there should be three, and then my fourth pole will turn the fan off. And so I've already changed it to the second speed, change it to the third, and then again, we could shut it off entirely from our pole, even with the wall outlet still on. So there you have it. This is a project that could take as little as a couple hours. And if we're just changing from one ceiling fan to another, just kind of to update it, maybe go to something that's a little bit bigger, um, you know, a little bit more of a contemporary color and design. You know, I went from more of a brass to a uh, brush nickel look. Uh, so just if we're looking to do something kind of simple and straightforward like that, then a lot of the elements of the electrical are pretty straightforward and they don't really uh, require a lot of professional knowledge in terms of electrical work. We want to make sure that our breaker is off so that there's definitely no power going to the light while we're working with it. Otherwise, the wires should largely be color coordinated from one fan to the next. Uh, so most of the components that you need are contained within the box for the new ceiling fan that you bought. And it's definitely worth at least attempting to see if it's something that you could tackle if you like do-it-yourself projects. Uh, because this is a pretty inexpensive and easy way for you to really upgrade the look of the room and the function of your light and your ceiling fan. You know, get a little bit better lighting, get a little bit more uh, circulation in the room, and we could do that for, you know, under $100 and under a couple hours of our own time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me and comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you might have, anything that I could maybe clarify a little bit for you. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future. Again, my name is Robert and I'm here to help with all your remodeling needs. So until next time, happy remodeling and have a great day.